So a couple episodes back, I taught you guys the basics of the Linux command line, and I told you to be really careful with the rm command. And perhaps you were a little careless with it, and you accidentally deleted some files you actually wanted. Now this does happen from time to time, or maybe you ac accidentally emptied your recycle bin and then thought, oh shit, I actually wanted those. Now today I'm going to show you guys how to recover those files and get them back so you can still use them. Okay, here we are inside the computer. Now the program we're going to need to install is called Test Disk. So type in sudo apt oop, apt get install test disk. Type in your password and it'll install it. It's already installed on my machine, so it's not going to do anything. Now there's two programs it gives you two utilities. One is called Test Disk. And what that will do is allow you to recover partitions and partition tables and that kind of stuff. So if you have, like if you erased your entire disk, this is what you would want to start to recover your partition tables. We're not going to go into that right now. That's a completely different tutorial. Right now we're going to go into data recovery for just specific files. So that is called photo, oops, photo rec. Photo rec. Okay. Now it tells you you need to be root to run this. So go ahead and run it as root. Select the partition, or I'm sorry, select the disk that you want to uh, run this on. Um, now you want to select your partition type. Um, it's going to usually default this little cursor. is going to be already selected on the one that it thinks is the right one. So we'll kind of leave it there if you're not too sure. Mine is an Intel. And then select the partition you want to recover on. Now I want to recover on this partition, so I want to search it. Now it's going to ask you what kind of file system it is. Now mine's an ext4. So hit OK. Now it wants to ask you if you want to um, search the entire disk, everything, even where the data is, to see if there's any data that can be recovered, or just the free space. Now, if you accidentally delete a file, and you know you're going to want it back immediately, don't do anything. Because anything that writes the disk can be potentially written on top of the data you're trying to recover. So the best way to actually do it is to remove the disk and put it into another computer and run this program on it there. But if that's not an option, um, you know, cross your fingers and hope it doesn't get overwritten. So if, if you just erase the, the file, you probably want to just do free because it's going to be in the free space now because it's erased. Um, if, if it's been a while, maybe a couple months or a week, or they're like, before you really realize that you wanted it back, you probably want to select whole. So select it. Now it's just asking you, where do you want to actually save these new recovered files to? Now I'll save them in my home folder, that's fine, so I'll hit yes. And you can see it's starting to do stuff. Now you can see it's already covered 70 MP3s, 35, you know, it's just going to go up and up and up and up. And let this run for a couple minutes. You know, it's probably going to take 5, 10 minutes. Okay, it's done. It only took, I don't know, maybe like a minute or two. I already ran this before, so maybe it was quicker. So quit out of this. You can just hit Q, Q, and now you're out. To actually get to those files you recovered, you want to go into the folder that you uh, saved them to, and you can see it made these two directories here called recupdir.1 and recupdir.2. Now open those up, and here are all the files that were deleted and are now back. Now you can see it gives them a bunch of random names, so you're going to, you know, if it's pictures, it's easy because it'll show you a thumbnail. If it's a text file, you might want to grep through them. And if you don't know how to grep through them, that's going to be a different tutorial. We'll do that later. Uh, or you can search search Google for now. And there's just a whole lot of files here. And go through them and see if your file's there. Good luck. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Catch you guys next time.